We welcome Francis Giles to the program. He is a senior research fellow at the Barcelona Center for International Affairs, as well as a former North Africa correspondent. Thanks so much for being with us. Thank you. So more than 24 million people were eligible to vote today, but it's expected that many are were going to decide to stay home to boycott. Will whomever wins have any sort of legitimacy in the eyes of the public? Well, I mean, this is the big problem. <clears throat> we don't know how many people eligible to vote actually cast a ballot, 20% probably, according to the authorities, which means less. We do not know how many people are not on the electoral list, because the electoral lists were revised in the last two months, but there was no independent checking. Uh, thirdly, we know from, particularly from Kabilia, where some people stormed the polling stations and found the ballot boxes already stuffed with um, electoral slips. Therefore, uh, we are not facing an election which is conducted in any way in a fair and transparent way. It is most obviously being rigged. Do you expect this is just going to exacerbate the unrest that's been going on for months and months even further? Well, the main thing, although we've had uh, a bit of violence today, but not all that much, although we've had much greater repression in recent months, the, uh, the wisdom of the demonstrators has been shown again and again in resisting provocation and avoiding provocation and violence. The authorities, for their part, although they have pushed, they've jammed this election down people's throat, have avoided bloodshed. So one can only hope this continues because uh, violence on a big scale would be in nobody's interest in Algeria or abroad. Having said that, there is a complete standoff and it's very difficult to see how generals who are uh, 70 or over 70 years of age, who are symbolic with the candidates of a system which many Algerians may be a majority, we don't know since we don't have free and fair elections, reject, can last forever in a country where more than half the population is under 30. And after 20 years of immense misrule by Mr. Bouteflika, one must add also that General Gaïd Salah who is the de facto head of Algeria, he has flung a number of people in prison, suppose, allegedly on corruption charges for being close to Mr. Bouteflika. But what of all the officers who've made money on commissions in all the weapons they've, uh, they've bought abroad? So we are in a huge confusion, a great mess, and I don't think that the kind of slow revolution refuse which the Hirak, the popular movement, has lit 10 months ago, will actually die down anytime soon. One of the things that adds to the confusion for many people is that this protest movement is leaderless. And while they want the old guard out, there isn't really a clear picture of what they want the old system replaced with. Uh, quickly, do you think that this is holding the protesters back somehow? Well, some of the criticism is justified, but uh, there are a number of personalities, lawyers, uh, young lawyers, including one who was put in, flung in prison a few months ago, the former prime minister of the great reforms of 1891, Mr. Mouloud Hamroush, who happens to be a colonel in the Algerian army, who have come out and said very clearly that what is needed is a transition period of six months or nine months or whatever where a bona fide government is appointed. And it is very easy if Gaïd Salah was so minded to appoint a government of all the talents. There is a lot of talent in Algiers, and if people saw younger and some older hands at the helm for nine months, I am quite sure they would believe that the generals were taking them at their word. But as we, if we continue to have the candidates in the present elections, who are frankly who are nothing. They don't represent anything politically. They're, they're stooges. They're patsy in the hands of the generals. We have a president, uh, Mr. Abdelkader Ben Salah, uh, and a, um, a prime minister, who in the Council of Ministers uh, yesterday, I think it was, were sitting speechless and scared, listening to the pre to the general Gaïd Salah giving them orders. So I think there is a way forward, and people would come forward 
if only the generals conceded that a degree of negotiation and change is important. Mm -hmm. If they dig their heels in, well, they dig their heels in, and uh, the economy will suffer, society will suffer, and the risk of great violence remains. If that happens, the only thing one can say is God, God help the Algerian army and God help Algeria. Francis Gillis, thank you so much for joining and sharing your expertise with us here on France 24. Now, final results uh, for this vote are not.